Right here I have a circulated 1961 Jefferson Nichols that seen its share of action. These ones got a weak strike and some noticeable circulation wear on high points. I can spot several thin diagonal hairlines across the surface, which likely means this coin was improperly cleaned at some point, probably an attempt to remove tarnish. You'll also see a fair number of contact marks on both sides and unfortunately the luster is long gone. The Monticello porch on the reverse is another giveaway, the motifs aren't fully struck so this coin doesn't make the cut for the full steps designation. Now let's talk numbers, the 1961 Jefferson nickel was minted on both Philadelphia and Denver with over 209 million coins coming out of Philly and nearly 229 million from Denver. In circulated condition, these coins value typically hovers just above the face value. But there is where it gets interesting in those higher mean state grades. The value shoots up especially if the coin has full steps. Full steps refers to the crisp uninterrupted lines on Monticello steps on the reverse, a sign of a sharp strike. A 1961 nickel with full steps is a real prize and collectors are willing to pay top dollar for it. For instance, an MS66 specimen with full steps sold for a staggering $10,518.75 at Great Collections Auction. So why are full steps examples so rare and sought after? Well, in 1961, the striking quality was pretty inconsistent, resulting in a lot of weak strikes. That means finding one with those perfect full steps is no easy task, making them valuable additions to any collection. If you're lucky enough to have an uncirculated 1961 Jefferson nickel, be sure to handle it with care. Use cotton gloves to avoid fingerprints. This one is circulated and tarnished specimens, so never mind with that. And store your uncirculated specimen in an airtight holder to keep it safe from tarnishing and wear. And don't forget, coins should be kept in cool, dry environment to prevent toning or corrosion.